first experienced Caritas Creek's environmental education and summer camp programs as a camper when I was 12 years old. I walked away from the program with a sense of empowerment that I could change the world. I wanted to protect the earth and I learned to be comfortable with and appreciate people from diverse backgrounds. The individual who comes to Caritas has an experience that's unique to their lifetime. Whether they come from the most wonderful family or whether they come from a very dysfunctional family, it is a unique phenomenon. And as I say, it's bigger than all of us. I believe strongly that the universe wants Caritas or it wouldn't have been able to survive over this near 35 years. I remember like getting off the bus and all these people like the counselors were cheering and like acting all crazy and I was like oh, okay what are they doing but like an hour later like we were like oh god I love these people and it had only been an hour so like after a week like four days of leaving it's like really I don't want to leave these people even though I haven't even known them for like a week. Uh, Card House in general, it just sounded really good. I thought it'd be like any other after school and I was definitely wrong. It's a lot different and you know, it's good in life to experience different things so you can find out what you like and who you are. And that's, uh, like I said, camp is a big part of like letting you find out who you are. This activity is called Find Someone Who. Uh, Caritas style uh, cab groups and circles and everything, so we all got to know each other better, so we had to talk to each other. Before you throw somebody the ball, you've got to say their name very, very loud so everybody can hear it. Oh. Phoebe. Spencer. Phoebe. All right, everybody point to the person you threw the ball to. Oh. Say their name. I really learned a lot about myself, and like there you're guaranteed to like really connect with the people around you since like these days there's like technology and everything but like when you go out there since you don't have your cell phone or anything like you're really like you're pushed to really get to know like the people around you. Switch your partners but make sure they still go to the opposite school. And empowering them to keep the safety of the other community members in mind uh, and, and that is part of how we build community um, is, is showing them that they're part of the community as well as everybody else and so taking care of each other uh, in, in any difficult situation. Um, our students speak very highly of Caritas when they return and they consistently tell us what a great time they have but on top of that they speak about the educational and the enrichment they receive there from the staff. One of the program directors, I think it was Whitaker, he said that being spiritual and being scientific don't have to be two separate things. And that is the type of education the students get here. I can be a science teacher in the classroom, but for me on a daily 50 minute block to be spiritual and scientific is near impossible. So if you see one and you see that it's got two sets of legs, you know that you're safe. If it's got one set of legs, it could be poisonous. So you might want to avoid grabbing it and messing with it. This is a Douglas fir tree. What's really cool about Douglas fir trees is the little bright green needle. Oh, tastes like oranges. They're full of vitamin C. I know. What do you think, man? Yeah, it tastes like oranges. Yeah? <laughs> After we came back from Caritas, we never lost that. Like sometimes it seems like it was lost, but we can always come back to that. Um, and I think it's like we have something that a lot of classes don't. Caritas is everywhere. It's not only at that place and like at that campsite with like those counselors. You can have it with your class. You can have it with like the people around you. And sometimes like you forget that because like all you want to do is like with be with the counselors and like spend the night at Caritas, but like when you think about it, you really can have it like with your friends every day. If you have lost a relationship and want to gain that relationship back because they do different activities where it brings you closer to that person and like the blind circle, you can just let it out. When you stand up, you could just throw your blindfold in the middle and share space with each other. When I got tapped for being inspirational to them, it really just touched my heart because if I'm an inspiration to someone my age, it's just really special. How much we mix 
kids in from socioeconomic backgrounds and neighborhoods and cities and mixing them all together um, to do Caritas style I think is really huge. It creates an experience that kids will never forget because they meet totally new people, not just having an adventure with their class, but having an adventure with people that they may keep relationships with for the rest of their lives. Now they know more about our earth and how to take care of it. And even some of the girls today were saying, I'm not wasting food anymore. I'm just going to take what I need. But also there's lasting friendships. I saw paper after paper with emails and MySpace and all that. So they've got friendships. They've learned about the earth. Some of them got closer to God. I've worked with so many kids who return. And as I said, they want to come back. They love it. It's such a positive experience for them. They learn, they grow. It's just a great thing. Um, I come back to Caritas because A, I love the environment and I think that that's something that I can um, kind of give to others as, as a, an appreciation and a love for the environment uh, and I, I also, I love the environment that Caritas has fostered in not just my life but the lives of anybody who's touched Caritas, uh, a loving community of individuals who truly care about what you have to say and, and really want to get to the heart of who you are as a person. Uh, I, it was actually kind of a miracle for me. I was a, a camper here when I was really young as a child in Huckleberry. And when I was in a group home, I actually got to come up with that group home to camp. So it was kind of like a rediscovery. Um, and basically just having the conversations and talking to people and feeling like I was truly heard for the first time, I found a place that I fell in love with. And the next year I was asked to come back. Is there one highlight that you've had with a camper in all your years as being a counselor and all the different roles you've filled here? Is, can you mention a highlight? I would say uh, Sean Washington. He's a counselor now, and I, I'd like to think I had a little bit to do with helping him. He was my counselor, and to be able to watch the man he is now and to, to think that, like, man, I remember when you were just a kid and, you know, you were just trying to figure things out, but his direction and what he wants for the world and the fact that he walks his talk is everything that I hope that I can give to more kids. When I first went to Caritas, uh, like I said, I was living in Oakland and I wasn't really making a lot of good decisions at the time. And from then, like from going in the camp and seeing like, you know, like it's okay to be goofy. It's okay to like just be yourself and not worry about having to be anybody else. Like it really just opened my eyes. And like, that's why I loved it so much. I kept coming back because it was like, you know, I got, I got to get back up there. You know, I got to see these people again. And mostly, you know, it's, you know, camp is fun and everything, but it's really the people that, like, make it what it is. The simplicity is in the fact that my hope and the hope of all of our staff is that every young person who tastes Caritas, when they leave, leave with huge awarenesses. Who are they and why are they wonderful and of value? Because at Caritas they get to discover that they are unique in the world.